When I hear people say launching is hard, it's because they don't have Airtable. Launching does not have to be hard. It does not have to be stressful. And if you are planning your first or next group program launch, I'm gonna show you how to launch your group program easier than ever using Airtable. I'm Ashley, and I'm an Airtable and automation expert that helps coaches organize and automate the backend operations of their six and seven figure group offers. I've helped countless entrepreneurs use Airtable to improve their student experience, make data-driven decisions, and have their biggest launches yet without burning out their team. By the end of this video, I'm gonna walk you through the five things to think about and set up before your next group program launch so it can truly be the easiest and the most stress-free one that you've ever had. These are the exact steps I recommend to all of my clients, and I can't wait to share them all with you. So let's get into it. So before we get into the nitty gritty of exactly how Airtable can help you have your easiest launch yet, we have to talk about the rest of your tech stack. So Airtable is just one piece of managing your group program. I think it is one of the most critical pieces. It's one of the pieces that most group programs are missing, but there are other pieces of your program there's your checkout platform, course platform, community platform, email platform, all of those things. Before you pick a database, before you move into something like Airtable, you want to make sure that you have a really solid tech stack that can grow with you. Now, there are so many reasons why you might like one system over the other, or if you like one checkout platform over the other. What I look at as a system strategist, as a system consultant, for scalable group programs is we wanna make sure the tech can grow with you. So what I mean by that is that let's take your checkout platform because that is one of the, that's the biggest one. <laughs> that's the biggest one that we wanna make sure is the most automation friendly. So when I say I want your tech to grow with you, what I'm looking at is I wanna make sure that it has as many like Zapier integrations and like ways for us to play with the data we want to have as many options there as possible. So as your group program grows, we can get data out of the platform. We can tie it into Airtable so we can analyze it. We can do fun things with automation. Airtable at its core is a database and we need data to get into the database to actually make it work. So we want to make sure that all of the other pieces of your tech for your group program play nicely. Now I can do so many videos about comparing the pros and cons of certain software. And if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to do that. But I'm just gonna do a quick hit list of the most automation friendly and the most scalable tech options out there. One of the biggest pieces of tech that you wanna make sure is scalable with you is your checkout platform. Our favorite above and beyond hands down is Thrivecart because of how many Zapier integrations it has. You'll see here, there's so many different options and we love that. We love that you can pull out affiliate data, you can automate out sales, uh, recurring payments. That recurring payments is the thing that most checkout platforms don't really let you automate without a bunch of kind of hacking, hacking the back end. So we really wanna make sure that if you really wanna scale and grow your group program and you wanna get that data into Airtable, Thrivecart is an amazing checkout platform. And another one that works is Samcart. So you can debate between those two. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can put it in the comments. If you're using the Kajabi checkout or Thinkific or Teachable, that's fine for a certain level, but it's really hard to get sales data out of that and into Airtable in a way that you can really like play with it. So you wanna make sure that you're in the right checkout platform that can grow with you. Course platform, most of them work pretty okay. Really, it depends on what's best for you and your clients. I'm pretty open to most course platforms, honestly. I personally like Kajabi, uh, but anything that you've got will probably work. You just wanna make sure that if you look at the Zapier integrations, you wanna make sure that there's automation so you can automatically remove a client or add a client so you can handle offboarding and onboarding automatically. So course platform, way more open about some of those. Community platform, Circle and Slack are the two that are the most automation friendly. Circle by far is the most automation friendly and the most scalable and Airtable friendly. However, Slack is 
free. And some folks like the experience inside of Slack more than Circle, but those two by far are the most automation and Airtable friendly. Next up is email platforms. Anything other than MailChimp will be pretty okay to scale with. And then of course your database platform is going to be Airtable. So I wanted to run down that quick list to just make sure that you're taking into account your tech stack before you start to uh, set up the rest of the your, your Airtable setup for your launch. So once you have the rest of your tech stack decided, we can now dive into Airtable. So during a launch and when you're managing a group program, there is just so much data and there are so many things going on. And what a lot of us lack is a central source of truth. You'll notice when I was talking about tech stacks, nowhere in there did I mention Google Forms, Google Sheets. We are gonna be totally spreadsheet free for your next launch. And you may be used to spreadsheets, so they might feel easier, but I promise you, once you set up these systems in Airtable, things are gonna feel so much smoother. There'll be data automatically populating and you will never go back to a spreadsheet again. So you're gonna have three Airtable bases that will serve as your central sources of truth for different types of data. So you'll have a sales hub, which houses all of the sales automatically. Your sales will populate in there. Your payment plan projections would automatically populate as well. You'll have your group program hub. When a new student joins, they will automatically get a record created inside of your group program hub. So you'll start to be able to create a really robust like kind of profile of them and their onboarding form would be connected to them, all of those things. So you have your sales hub, your group offer hub, your group program hub, and your launch hub. So this launch hub is gonna change the game for your launch. It is going to automatically populate your webinar registrants, your sales data, your sales goals. So all you have to do is like refresh it and it's automatically up to date. So those are the three hubs that you definitely want to have set up before your next launch. If you are curious about the back end of those three hubs, exactly what they look like, exactly how they all should function, I go into that in my free masterclass, the three Airtable systems you need before your next six figure group program launch. So I literally show you exactly what these Airtable setups should look like. And you'll start to see like, oh, this is going to be easier to manage than my spreadsheets. Before your next launch, you want to make sure you check out that masterclass just for more in-depth details and walkthroughs of exactly what these hubs need to look like. But you just want to make sure you centralize So before your next group program launch, you are also going to want to plan your launch content all inside of Airtable as well. In my last launch, I wrote 60 emails in a weekend. <laughs> I email a lot during launches and they're all great and you're welcome for them. So typically when people don't write their launch content inside of Airtable, and I'm actually going to show you screen share what that looks like in a second. Most folks have a really long, like 100 page Google Doc. That is really hard to be able to delegate to your team so they can repurpose, so they can actually put it in your email scheduler. When you use Airtable as your launch content database, you are able to just write the emails. You are just, you're just being the talent. You're writing the emails, you're putting out your genius, and then you can give a fully complete, fully formed email set to your virtual assistant, to your operations manager, and they can take that and run with it. It's so much harder to keep track of the status of certain emails, when things should be sent, what time they should be sent, all of those things. It's really hard to track that just inside of a Google Doc or even in Asana or ClickUp. We'd love to have it inside of your launch hub. So not only can you write the emails there, you can delegate it to your team, but all of those launch emails are connected to the launch itself. So you can over time start to see, I sent 60 emails during this launch and it made me 50K. It did, great. Thank you, thank you launch hub. Uh, you can see those, you can start to see those trends and you can easily repurpose from one launch to the next. So I'm gonna show you exactly kind of the behind the scenes of that launch up now. So all of our launches are planned here and each launch has its own little record. Uh, you'll see here, this is um, part of, this is our January launch. So we, it has the start date, the end date, 
our launch revenue goal, how much we made during that launch, percentage to goal, all that fun stuff. But a big thing that we're able to do with this then is we get to link our launch content to that launch. So this is what I'm talking about. This is how I wrote 60 emails in a weekend. Okay. <laughs> how we have this, I have this filtered to show where the launch is systems over stress live launch for January, 2023. Now, if I pop open this record, you'll see this is so much cleaner to give your team than a Google Doc, right? So we have the status, so I can pick draft, sent, ready to schedule, all that. The platform, if you do more than just email, the send time, our preview text, the date, our internal convert kit note, the segment that we want it to be in. I got really, really granular, so my team did not have to come to me with extra questions, right? We've got our copy in here, if there's any attachments, and then we have the convert kit URL. We have all of these things here available, like it's just all in one central place. And that is huge when you are going to be, when you're in the middle of a launch and you want it to be as, as streamlined as possible. You don't want your team coming to you and being like, hey, what's the subject line on this? Because you forgot to put that in the Google Doc or did you mean AM or PM? Like there's so many moving pieces that when you're able to have as much as much as you can centralize, it just takes such a mental load off you and your team. You're able to delegate faster. You're able to repurpose easier. What's amazing about this now is we have this searchable database of all of our launch content. So if I want to um, repurpose or if we're moving off of ConvertKit and into Active Campaign, we're able to actually like keep our emails and keep this amazing searchable database of all of our fantastic launch launch content. Airtable can just do so much for your group program launch to make it easier than ever. And I hope that little sneak peek of all of the launch content in your launch hub was exciting to you. Now, there is so many more details we can go into about my launches. I'm an open book, y'all. You can ask me anything. So if you have any questions about the Airtable bases that helped me have my last 50K launch or anything about Airtable, anything about my launches, go ahead and let us know in the comments and we will be sure to answer those. Another way that Airtable can help you have your easiest group program launch yet is by simply being a second brain for your group program. So especially when you are anticipating a big launch or a huge influx of students, you can't keep track of everybody all in your head and you want to make sure that everybody is taken care of. Now, if you if this is your, you know, second or third group program launch, you probably have some sort of automation that maybe says when they buy automatically add them to the course platform or like automatically send them an email. I'm assuming you're probably not manually sending your students the, their course logins. So you probably have that covered. If you don't slide into my DMs, message me because we need to work together. But what most folks are missing is that additional step of not only adding them to the course platform, sending them an email, but adding that student into an Airtable group program hub so you can start to keep track of your clients in a much more detailed way. My client, Jamie, onboarded 300 students into her group program in nine months. So before working with us, she didn't have any central place where she kept track of her students and she could kind of feel, she could feel that, right? handling a lot of customer service requests, people asking questions that she would have to, you know, dig in emails or like dig into her uh, course platform or her checkout platform to try to get some data. But before Jamie's big, big launches with the 300 students in nine months, she knew she was going to have that big client influx. So she came to us and Jamie set up her group program hub just two weeks before her launch. And it totally transformed her experience. So her, her students continued to have a seamless onboarding experience, and all she had to do was open her cart and had nothing else to do. Clients were able to select their name from an onboarding form that was like embedded with Airtable. So Jamie was able to seamlessly invite and welcome and celebrate all of these new students because she wasn't stressed about her systems breaking on the back end. So she knew that her systems could support all of these people and that no one would be left behind or forgotten. And all of her students were centralized in one, one spot in Airtable. So she was able to open up her 
open up any student at any time and see everything about them, which really helps you feel like during a launch so that you can show up and have this launch be as big as you want it to be. So by setting up automations and specifically getting your students data into your group program hub during your launch, it's going to help you be in a better headspace to actually sell the program, trust that everybody's taken care of and that you're good to go. All you should be doing during a launch is selling and celebrating. You shouldn't need to be troubleshooting automations or manually sending emails or manually sending contracts. If you have contracts for your group program or your mastermind, I want you focused just on selling and celebrating the amazing students that you're getting and the amazing results you're going to get your clients. And with Airtable, that is possible. I hope you see, you know, when you have that centralized data, everything is just, it's just set. You feel organized, you feel good, you feel ready, you feel prepared in a way that you just can't feel with spreadsheets, even your pretty color-coded ones. So if you're not currently feeling this way about your upcoming launch, you got to join the masterclass. This is all so much easier to implement than you think. And we actually do done for you services. So if you're like, yes, I need this. And I don't want to, I want Ashley and her team to set it up. We can absolutely do that for you. But if you have a launch coming up in the next few weeks, one, congratulations. I hope it goes incredible. Two, I really want to encourage you to set up these Airtable systems to have your best and easiest launch yet. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any questions about all things Airtable, all things launching, all things systems, and I'll see you in the next video.